Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, an ordinary guy, and today we are finally doing it. Working on the small block for the S10, so hang tight. All right, well, it's still kind of a mess in here. I did manage to get all the siding replaced on the shop that was bad. You can see the line right up there where that, that's just uh, uh, char, I guess, soot, whatever. And But all this has been replaced all the way down. I'm waiting for the door to come in. I had to order a door for that. I got some new insulation up, got a couple new boards up that had burned on the back side. But we are pretty much, the shop is in, in pretty good shape right now. It's cold out here. All right, so degree in the cam is what we're gonna do. It, it's it's cold out here, man. Thirty degrees, but you know what? I had I had a little bit of an opportunity, got enough stuff done to the shop out here, and I got a lot of stuff done outside. I still got a bunch more to do, but I feel like I can take a day off and work on my engine because it's been a long time and it's been sitting here just waiting for me. So, anyways, uh, when I got the engine back from the machine shop, they put a they had put the cam in it and just set it straight up. And the reason they did that was just to make sure that the bearings were all aligned for the cam nicely and everything and that everything spun over. But it hadn't been degreed, so I needed to do that. So my first thing that I did was I found top dead center on this. Now, you can't really see it too well, but what I did was I'm going to find a spot where it's closest to the center of the piston with a deck bridge like this in order to get an accurate measurement. And then what I did was I brought it up. Well, I've already set this because I've already done this, but I brought it up to where the needle stopped. Right there. Set my zero. And my zero, it all lines up. Now I might be half a degree off doing it like this, but you know what, it's, it's fine. So that comes off. I know I'm on true top dead center. Now, what I'm using is the intake center line method. So, <clears throat> starting at zero degrees top dead center and I have this nifty little tool right here they have those other you know those magnetic ones with the crazy arm on it you could put down there and put it on top of a lifter those I, I got one of those too but this one here sits right into the lifter bore it takes that way a lot of uh, guesswork or you know room for error I guess so anyways you're supposed to move it clockwise until You'll see the needle start to move. Now I'm coming up on the in, cause I'm on the intake lobe. I'm coming up on the intake lobe right now to where the valve would be completely open. Keep going until it stops. Okay, see it stops and it starts to go back. That means it's cresting over the top of the intake lobe. Okay, when you get to that point, you set it at zero, <clears throat> which I've already done. So it's set to zero. Now you back it up and then go back up and then go back to your 50. You know, clockwise direction, the way that the engine runs. All right, now I check my, until I've done it a few times. So now I check my number here, which is gonna be 61, two, three, 63. Okay, write that down. I'm at 50, now 
I'm going to go back down, same direction of rotation, it's going to go back to zero, and then it's going to come back, because it's going down the other side of the lobe, back to 50 again. you got to be careful, because you don't want to go past it. Okay. So now, on 50 again, 140, 140, Five, six, seven, eight. 63 and 148. 63, 8, 9, 10, 11, 2. I add the 2 together, the 63 and the 148 makes 211. Divide that by 2 equals 105.5. 105.5. Cam card. It's right here. Intake. Where is that? Intake center line on the cam card. 106. 1055 is perfect. Close enough. So now I'm going to show what I had to do to get there. Um, let's bring this down. Bring it in closer so we can see what we're doing here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. So take this off here because we're done with it. All right, down in here, you can see. Let me straighten the motor out. Down a little bit. Okay. Down in here is. Well, I might need this on to turn it a little bit. Let's get it back to where the straight up position would be for the okay all right this green mark is a zero or for the straight up position on the on the crank and that's the the mark you use on the the camshaft so and straight up I was 103 degrees instead of the 105.5 so I was advanced so I needed to retard it so I had I went first I retarded two degrees and it, it wasn't enough so then I retarded it to four degrees so in here there's a zero mark a two degree mark four degree mark went to the four degree on the keyway and then the corresponding four degree here moved it put it in rechecked it came up at 1055 so that's basically that's just a basic overview of how to do this i uh i would recommend watching many videos on this don't just take what i did <clears throat> i mean that's the right way to do it but you could learn so much by watching lots of videos because that's what i do i watch a lot of videos i read a lot and uh i just wish i could remember stuff <laughs> uh, but anyways so now i know the cam is degreed so um i'll pull all this apart and uh get on to the next step so I think I'll wrap this video up right here. I'll make a short one on the on this, just the degree in the cam. Um, next thing I'm going to do is a piston to valve clearance. So uh, that'll be the next the next one I do, and I'll probably get started on that one here momentarily. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Leave me a comment. 
Um, I appreciate uh, everybody uh, for hanging out with me and man, it's cold. <laughs> so anyways, hey everybody stay safe. I'll see you next time.